Hi, Brett. Just uh, your mindset when you saw um, Russell go down like that, how difficult is it to go in in that situation? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but, you know, it's the mindset is go win the game, um, you know, whatever it takes. And obviously, I've never been in a situation like that before, especially when you're, you know, you come in and you're, you're down on their five yard line. Um, it's kind of nice. I wish every drive started like that. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just frustrated, frustrated that, um, you know, I couldn't get it done because especially after, you know, how, how hard Russ fought, how hard our offense fought. Um, you know, we've been through a lot this year, and uh, I've just seen him battle every single day. And, um, you know, just so proud of that room. So just just tough. Yeah, yeah, Brett, you guys you, you guys did have the chance after Josie's second pick of the game, put you guys near midfield, trailing by six. Can you just kind of go through the, you know, the, the play that resulted in, in the interception, what you saw? Yeah, so they were in 44 man, which is a coverage where you're playing man underneath and then the safeties are trying to drive on stuff. And we had a play called where, you know, we had Jerry on a slant route and, uh, you know, I, I, I maybe could have fit it into him. Um, you know, initially it was kind of tough to tell whether the safety was going to be able to make the play on it. And then once I got outside the pocket, um, you know, I just got to communicate to him better to, cause I thought we had an opportunity to go deep. Um, and just a little hesitation, you know, allowed 95 to come around the edge and, um, you know, ultimately make that play. So frustrating cause I thought I had a good one-on-one -on -one there. Brett, can you take us through the touchdown pass to Jerry on fourth down, just kind of what you saw and, and obviously Jerry's big day overall too. Yeah, he, so he was running a back line, um, a route, and we had Greg on the shallow. And really the whole read is based off the backside safety. If he cuts the shallow, you throw the back line, and if he takes the back line, you throw the shallow. So he got, cut the shallow cross, and I was able to fit it over the backer for a touchdown. Brett, you've obviously spent a ton of time with Russ this year. What did you see from him today that was kind of a step forward, and what gives you confidence that he can build on that when he's back? Yeah, I thought he was you know, stepping up in the pocket, really well. Um, you know, I thought our guys made plays. Um, you know, we had a lot of good yards after catch, which helps. Um, but, you know, ultimately, uh, I thought he was getting the ball out on time. And, you know, he was stepping up and making plays and putting his body on the line, man. I mean, <clears throat> we can say all we want, but we're three and nine, they're nine and three. And the guy's out there battling his ass off to try to win the game. Like, that to me is somebody I want to follow. Brett, can you kind of take us onto the sideline and what it's like when you're down 27 nothing in the sense you get from your teammates and then, I guess, adding to it, you being thrust into the, the comeback effort, but just the, the mood when you guys are down there? Yeah. Um, well, as far as being down 27 nothing, it's not, not a good feeling, but at the same time, you know, it's early in the game. Um, so you had a lot, of, a lot of ball left to play. And, you know, when you can gain some momentum like we did, you know, and get 14 points before halftime, and then we know we have the ball coming out. Um, you know, it's anybody's game at that point. So we go out and we score, and then, um, you know, I thought we were going to win the game, and that's exactly what I thought when I came into the game. And then we get a pick, we get the ball at the 50-yard line, I'm thinking the same thing. But um, so that's why, to me, it's so frustrating, you know, especially knowing I've been here for four years now, we haven't beat these guys, and I think that's 14 straight. Um, it's frustrating. It's the most amount of points you guys have scored this season so far from your vantage. And I know that you haven't been able to be on the field every single time, but what, what do you think contributed to that today? Yeah, again, I thought, you know, Russ, Russ got the ball out quick. Um, our receivers did a good job of getting yards after catch. Um, we stayed ahead at the chains. We didn't have a whole lot of negative plays. Really, I think if you look at the drives that were, were killed, it was because of, you know, a negative play, a penalty, or a sack. So um, when we can stay ahead of the chains and, um, you know, keep ourselves in manageable down and distances. You know, I think we can be a really good offense. And ultimately, too, like, you know, we got a bunch of rookies playing out there. We got a bunch of young guys. I know you don't like to you have any excuses, and that's not what we're trying to do, but we're trying to build chemistry every single week. You know, there, there's a bunch of different guys that are getting thrust into different positions. And, um, you know, we're trying, to, we're trying to figure it out for sure. So I think today was a great step in the right direction. Brett, as you said, you guys show fight. You're right there. How hard is it to get over that mental step, though, you're just not finishing because of the fact that this is professional sports and you're evaluated by one thing, winning? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. Definitely frustrating. I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly what the answer is, to be honest with you. I mean, 
when when you're winning, you're winning, and you're finding ways to win. And I've been a part of some winning programs, and I've been a part of some losing programs. So um, I know what it feels like on both sides, and I think uh, ultimately we just have to figure out, especially late in games, like how can we just find a way to win everybody? And it starts with, you know, it starts with us as quarterbacks, um, but. You know, it's the entire team, and that's what that's what makes this sport so great. Is you only control forty percent of it, um, really, when you look at it from an offensive standpoint. So you rely on everybody, and uh, that's what we got to figure out.